Good afternoon, everyone. It's really an honor and pleasure to welcome you all. Uh, before we begin, I would like to respectfully acknowledge that the land we are on today is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabeg, the Chippewa, the Honsanur, and the Wendat people, and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people. I'm Salma Zahid, Member of Parliament for Scarborough Center, and thank you all for joining us today. I would like to acknowledge my colleagues here. We have Maninder Sidhu, Member of Parliament for Brampton East. Tony, <laughs> Tony Wenbin, Member of Parliament for Newmarket Aurora. <laughs> Ali. Isasi, Member of Parliament for Willowdale. And of course, we have good representation from our Scarborough Caucus. Gary Anand Sangari, Member of Parliament for Roo Scarborough Rouge Park. Honorable John McKay, and our Dean of Scarborough, Member of Parliament for Scarborough Gilwood. Sean Chen, Member of Parliament for Scarborough North and Jean Yip, Member of Parliament for Scarborough Agent Court. It's my pleasure to welcome today Honorable Minister Navdeep Baines, Canada's Minister of Innovation, Science and Industry to Scarborough Centre. Minister Baines is also the Member of Parliament for the riding of Mississauga Malton. Minister Bain has been a strong voice for Canada's business community. He made fostering economic growth through innovation a high priority for Government of Canada. And he also led the development of the government's innovation and skills plan. This plan aims to create new jobs and business opportunities for Canadians by making this country a world leading center for innovation. What's more is Minister Baines also launched Canada's digital charter which sets out 10 key pr principles to support citizens and companies in a digital world with trust, privacy at the core. Minister Baines has also spearheaded negotiations among the provinces and territories that led to the Canadian Free Trade Agreement. This ambitious agreement will open up trade within Canada in virtually every sector of the economy, and we should all be very proud of that. He's also been champion for clean technology, supporting new, innovative ways to combat the climate change crisis. And finally, Minister Baines has been a passionate advocate for diversity and inclusion. He introduced a bill in the par last parliament that promotes the advancement of women, cultural minorities, and underrepresented groups to the highest levels of leadership Incorporate Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the Honorable Navdeep Baines. Thank you very much, uh, Selma, for that very kind introduction. It truly is an honor to be here today. And thank you for your friendship and for hosting us here in this beautiful library and representing Scarborough and Team Scarborough so well. I do want to acknowledge, of course, uh, my good friend and colleague here, who's done a tremendous job in advancing today's announcement as well, uh, my parliamentary secretary, Ali Sassi. He is, there you go. He, uh, he's taken on this role 
with a lot of energy and passion and commitment, and it really is an honor to have him here today to be part of this very special announcement. So as I said, it's great to see so many people here today to announce another significant milestone in our plan to make life more affordable for Canadians. Over the last four years, we've worked hard to manage the economy, and we've seen results. Over one million full-time jobs have been created, mostly jobs in regions where we've seen challenges in the past. We've seen some of the strongest growth in the G7, and one million people have been lifted out of poverty. And the first thing we did after the 2015 election was cut taxes for the middle class. And the first thing we did after this past election was cut taxes for the middle class yet again. And we made a lot of progress, but we know there's more work to be done. And during the last election campaign, the Liberal campaign knocked on a million doors, actually more than a million doors, obviously led by Salma. Uh, if you live in this riding, you probably heard from her multiple times during the campaign. And when we talked to Canadians every day, they told us that the issues around the cost of living was a constant weight on them and their families. Housing, groceries, and school supplies are growing line items in the monthly budget, and families are really feeling the crunch. Growing cell phone bills should not be adding to that burden. That's why I'm very excited to be here today to talk about how we're going to make life more affordable for you. Owning a smartphone is no longer a luxury. It's not something cool. It's not something that you want to have. It's a must have. It's a central part of everyday life for most people. Working, learning, socializing, or organizing our lives, it's all made easier with a smartphone. And how much money you make or where you live should not exclude you from staying connected to your loved ones and to the world, engaging at work and at school. For the millions of Canadians who find it hard to have reliable access to the internet and wireless services at a decent price, we've already taken concrete action. Our goal was clear. We needed to lower prices, to improve access, and to ensure high quality networks for the internet, and wireless services at every corner of the country. And it's important to note that Canada has one of the most reliable wireless networks in the world. And this is something we should all be proud of. So what have we done? Since 2016, we introduced the Connect to Innovate program to bring high-speed internet connectivity to over 975 communities right across Canada. And we created programs to promote affordability and accessibility, like the Connecting Families Initiative, which ensures low-income Canadian families can have access to high-speed internet for just 10 bucks a month. And so far, 50,000 families have signed up for this initiative. We engaged the CRTC, and that's the Canada's telecom regulator, to explore low-cost wireless offerings, which resulted, by the way, in mandating the big three national carriers to offer low-cost data plans. We also directed the CRTC to promote affordability, consumer interest, and all forms of competition and investment, keeping Canadian consumers, and that's you, at the forefront of their decisions. In the last four years, we've also seen overcharges capped to limit bill shock and the elimination of unlocking fees. And by the way, these were extremely popular measures that were well received. And through our last Spectrum auction, we reserved Spectrum for regional competitors to have and to make sure that they are in a position to provide more choice and lower prices. And this was a major win for Canadian consumers in places like Cornwall, Nanaimo, Medicine Hat, and Ramuski who never really enjoyed the choice between a major player and a regional competitor until now. 
We're also going to highlight a study that we're making public today. The study we're releasing today shows that there's been a general decrease in prices for Canadian consumers. So we're seeing progress. And our policies are starting to work, the ones that I just highlighted. However, it also shows that there's still room for more progress. We can and must do more. While the study has shown a price drop in the top end plans, and they've shown a price drop in the bottom end plans, prices in that middle range have not moved significantly. And Canadians in mid-range data plans are not seeing price reductions, and that's not fair for Canadians. And on top of that, this study shows that the average price from regional providers, and this is really important to note, was as much as 45% lower than the plans provided by the big three carriers. That's why we're doubling down on our efforts to help regional players compete so that the big three national carriers who control close to 90% of the market, of the wireless market in Canada, offer fair prices. You know, our government's leadership has steered the economy in the right direction, but the rising cost of living means we must do more for students who need to stay in touch with their families. We need to do more for new grads struggling to afford a cell phone that's required for their job, and for seniors who want to stay connected to their grandkids. And speaking of seniors, my father's here as well, and he uses the phone to stay connected with my two young girls. Also, we need to do more for small business owners who want to remain competitive in an interconnected world. It's absolutely essential for our businesses if they want to grow and compete and succeed. It simply isn't fair to ask Canadians to pay some of the highest prices in the world to stay connected. And it isn't fair that a major national wireless carrier can charge $50 a month for a two gigabyte plan in Scarborough and charge $15 less for that same plan in Montreal. <laughs> or that almost any plan in Canada is 20% more expensive than a plan in the US. Our government will continue to work to ensure wireless services are more affordable for everyone. And one of the ways we're doing this is through something called Spectrum Auction. Spectrum, by the way, are radio waves on which data travels, and this is what allows people all over the country to make phone calls and connect to wireless service providers. Basically, it's what makes your cell phone work. And it's more than that. It's what makes your smartphone smart. So today, I'm announcing that we're carving out 50 megahertz for Spectrum for small and regional telecom companies as part of the 3,500 megahertz Spectrum auction. This is so we can guarantee their access to the Spectrum at a reasonable price, thus ensuring that the 5G future, which is very exciting, is critical for regional players and the big three to make sure that they are on a level playing field, on a more equal footing. We know that this is what the regional companies need to remain competitive, and that is what we're delivering on today. And during the campaign, we committed to lowering cell phone prices in mid-tier plans in this country by 25%. And today, I am following through on that commitment, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> For cell phone plans that offer the two to six gigabytes of data, we expect the big three to reduce their prices by 25% in the next two years. That's almost 40% be denied the opportunity to connect because of where they live, or how much money they make. I look forward to continuing to work hard to make these essential services more affordable for you. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Minister Baines. We heard about this issue for a long time, and in the last election at all the doors we knocked, this was the first issue coming up, and I'm, I know it will make a big difference in the lives of the people living here in Scarborough Centre and across Canada. 
uh, helping make life more affordable for the middle class families and those working hard to join the middle class. So thank you everyone for joining us today for this important announcement. Thank you to my colleagues and a big thank you to Honorable Navdeep Baines for joining us today. Thank you. So we're going to take a picture, I believe a group picture, that's correct. So, okay, so come on in everyone. Hello again.